Alright, so today we're going to be taking a look at McAfee Internet Security 2014 or version number, oh, where's the version number here? Here we go. Uh, version number 13.6 is the security center. Now McAfee and I go back quite a bit. Uh, I used McAfee up until 2010 and I guess you could call me young and dumb back then. Um, uh, McAfee, in my mind, used to be very well. They had a very solid product. It seems that after about 2006, I think it was, it really kind of started to go downhill. 2008 really was, I think, the, the starting point of I was kind of searching for a possible another solution to replace McAfee. But really, in my mind, I, I didn't really see anything else, or I guess I was just kind of tied to McAfee in a sense that they've always seemed to protect my computers, and I never really had a problem with them. Um, but once they came out with their new interface, I think it was around 2009, I really despised it, and it really started slowing down my computers, which sparked me to um, basically look elsewhere for antivirus. 2010, I found Komodo, and that's basically what I'm using right now. And so far, they've been very good on my computer. I have not tested McAfee thoroughly in a while, basically since then. I've kind of installed it on a virtual machine here and there, and you know, saw, tried to play around with it, see what they've changed, anything, but thrown a few pieces of malware, but nothing really kind of like this. So I'm really kind of interested to see how McAfee is going to perform. Um, it's been a few years since I've actually used them, so we're going to go ahead and check that out. Um, right off the bat, with the interface here, I like the way they've improved it uh, versus the other interface that I used, which really was kind of crunched and small. They've really kind of expanded the interface and made it a lot easier to navigate. You click on Virus and Spiral Protection, and you get nice big areas and nice big buttons that you can select, you know, scan your PC, and, and it seems to work very well. Same thing with web and email. Very nice setup. Um, the only thing I really wish they would kind of change aesthetically and what kind of bugs me is this whole hyperlink text kind of look. To me that just looks cheap. It really does. Get rid of that and get some nice font kind of like up here or something like that. Now before in the previous versions you had to click on the hyperlink text. You could not click anywhere else and I've noticed they have changed that um, at least in that area where you can click anywhere besides the hyperlink text but unfortunately right here you can see you really kinda have to click on the hyperlink text which on a tablet it can be very cumbersome to navigate that. If you look on the right side here of the screen we kinda have an informational section right down here where we can view security reports you got navigation right here you can get basically all the settings of the security product itself and then of course the help. If we go to general and uh, general settings and alerts they still implement this drawer type of design. This drives me absolutely insane. I remember when I used McAfee before, this was kind of one of the gripes I had about that, is it was very difficult to navigate it. And I still am, believe that today, because you have to click on it to select it, and then click off, and then click again on something else. It really is kind of annoying to, to navigate that. But if you know what, if the product secures my computer, I could get over that. And that's what we're going to try to find out today. How well will McAfee perform at securing your computer? So McAfee offers a whole slew of things. Virus and spiral protection, web and email. They offer a vulnerability scanner as well as backup, stuff like that, data backup, and parental controls. And it costs, I believe, about $55 for their internet security. There is no free versions of McAfee, as probably most of you know. So let's get right into the test here. They do have a Site Advisor uh, add-on that they do put on Internet Explorer. And it's supposed to prevent websites, or it's kind of like um, a web filter. It's their web filter, basically, and tries to filter out bad websites. So I don't even know I'm going with that. <laughs> All right, so let's go. We'll start with the malware domain list. And let me get my notepad file open here. Okay, we'll number this here. 
Yeah, there you go. We should have done this before. And we'll throw 10 links at it if we want to go more. We'll see how it does with 10 first. Okay. So link number one here. Got my VPN online. Yes, okay. Link number one. Oh, I get kill switch open here. Um, before, hopefully this one will be dead, because I want to show you guys this. Um, in the past, McAfee has always been very heavy on memory usage, and this is what it was before I even started the video. It is ungodly high. The main process for McAfee is using 167 <laughs> megabytes of RAM. That is, that is extremely high. That has to come down. I've said this multiple times. Um, and they just they don't listen. Uh, I don't know why they continue to have use that many resources on your system. I understand computers nowadays have a lot more RAM and they can support stuff like that. But really, do you need do you needed to have that take up that much RAM? No. There's plenty of programs out there that do it just fine without using that much and get the job done. So that is basically. I just wanted to mention that. Now I'm going to hide safe processes here, and we can get into the test. That link was dead, but McAfee has basically logged it as a malicious website. So I'm not going to count it as blocked because it, the site wasn't operational. I'm looking for stuff that's operational, like this one right here. Okay, so it states that it's potentially dangerous download detected and we are going to block download we are given the option to download anyways but the block download is highlighted in red which signifies to me that it's a default option we're gonna click that if we try to run it it shouldn't run but smart screen is gonna try to block it so I have to disable smart screen and see if it'll download it shouldn't be able to so I'm going to count that as a block. Okay. Link number two here. Um, that one's not going to work because it's the same IP as up there. Uh, let's try, we're going to do this one right here. Okay. We will go ahead and we'll save it to desktop here. See as the compressed folder. We'll block the download, and it could not be downloaded. Trojan quarantined. All right, so number two was also blocked. And let's do enough zip malware. Let's just get right into the meat and potatoes of this test here. I want stuff that's going to launch right away. Um, let's try some ransomware here. Ah, figured it wasn't going to work. Let's try this link right here. All right, this one was supposed to be blocked. Trying to run it, couldn't be downloaded. All right, so three is blocked. Number four. And I think we're going to move on to a different website because we're getting to some older malware now. All right, um, looks like that one I'm going to count as a block. And then we're going to move on to the, uh, let's go ahead and clear the list out there. Move on to malcode. Okay, so we're going to copy that. Block download. So it looks like McAfee has really improved on their uh, web filter detection or their web detections these are all the same URL are you kidding me there we go cripes I right, couldn't be downloaded okay This is number six. All right, and that one's blocked. Try and run it. Not going to work. Number seven. 
to same URL. Okay, let's just go over to Malware Blacklist. This is this is not working out here. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's try. This will probably be dead, but we'll try it anyways. Number seven, and it's blocked. Trying to open it, not going to work. I'm very impressed at what McAf how McAfee is doing or performing, I should say. It is doing extraordinary on the uh, web threats. Blocked. Last two. Block and last link. And let's see, we will do which one looks good. Let's pick pick this one. Block. Nothing. Alright. So McAfee did extremely well. Site Advisor did a great job at protecting the computer. We blocked all the web threats. So that was really good. But now we're going to see if McAfee can still perform as well as it is doing with the web threats with malware that let's say is from a flash drive or was already on the computer stored. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out kill switch temporarily. We're going to turn off the real-time protection. I'll just say when I restart my computer. And we're going to go ahead and extract my folder of malware. And this is zero day malware as usual. There's a folder of older malware in there. Um, just because I kind of had some problems finding um, newer stuff today, so I just kind of threw some older stuff in there. But we do have at least, I believe, well, let me see how much I have in here. I have 120 items, and I think at least 60 of those are zero day. So we'll see how well this. Uh, how this performs. We're going to do a context scan on the folder and see, well maybe the scan will go pretty quick. Now historically speaking when I've dealt with McAfee and their scans they take forever and they use up an enormous amount of resources on the system. So let's see how many resources this is actually using up. I'm just going to use task manager kind of give a rough idea. Okay so it's RAM hasn't jumped much, but CPU is using about half of my CPU capacity right now. It seems to be moving at a pretty good speed right here, pretty good clip. So, not bad. Uh, but I probably will pause the video here, and when the scan is completed and all the threats are removed, we will come back and crunch the numbers to figure out how much McAfee has actually detected. So, be right back. All right, so the scan has finished, and it states that there are zero issues. It appears as if McAfee has resolved all the threats, scanned 120 items, and it looks like it detected 111 items, and there are zero items remaining. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. You're done with the scan. We will re-enable our real-time protection here. I can figure out how to do so. Time scanning. There we go. They could make a fix button. Maybe I didn't see it, but they could really make a fix button somewhere on here, stating to turn the real-time protection on because a novice user is not really going to know or understand how to go in to the settings if their real-time protection is disabled. However, if they can't figure out how to disable it, then why would they need to re-enable it? I guess. So, but it would still be kind of nice if they put one in there. All right. So our system is stated as secure. We're going to do one last scan just to ensure everything is removed and McAfee states it didn't find anything. Let's see how much we have here. So we have 10 items remaining. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I, I'd say that did really well. We started out with 120 items. Minus 10 equals 110 divided by 120 equals 
91% detection ratio. That is really good. Um, McAfee has seemed seems to really come a long way with their detection ratios because in the past when I've tested them, they would have about 60, so they'd be lucky if they had about 70% detection ratio on zero day malware, which was really kind of average to below average in some categories. So that's really, really good number. I'm very impressed with McAfee. I actually was not expecting that. However, now it is the time to see how well McAfee can perform with these 10 samples that it does not know about. So we got everything is secure, everything is operational, and we are going to start by running this malware. But before I do that, let me get Kill Switch open up here. Okay. So you can see what's going on here. Hide the safe processes. There we go. That looks about good. All right, so number one looks as if it's in RAM. No alerts from McAfee yet. Start with number two. Okay, looks as if number two has also, okay, we had some script running there. It looks like, or at least a command prompt, I should not say, maybe it wasn't script. I couldn't read it exactly, but for sure a command prompt window was launched. I don't know if this one ran or not. It could have been that one. Let's try this one right here. It appears that this one is now running too. Move to uh, faulty or looks like rogue reg registry services here, if I understand that correctly. If I think I think that's a registry service process. I don't know if that even exists, but it looks like something associated with the registry. I don't know all the Windows processes offhand, so sorry to those experts out there who do know, and they're probably laughing at me right now saying, what are you talking about? All right, try this one. That one looks like as if it's executed. I don't think we did this one yet. Maybe we did. Nope, and that one is executed as well. Move on to this one. Start doing one here, and here, here. Uh, no. Uh, let's try this one here. This one may be a duplicate. We have a setup here. Here's if it's crashed. No idea what this is supposed to be. And the last one. Don't even know if it's working. All right. So it appears as if McAfee has blocked none of this, which is quite disappointing. I really was looking forward to seeing McAfee actually perform well, um, which unfortunately it did not. Just because it didn't block any of the zero day, and unfortunately nowadays there are so many malware, uh, so many different pieces of malware being released, you really need a dynamic, multi-layered security system or security suite on your computer, sometimes even multiple security programs. Um, and that's the main downfall of McAfee, and that's really the reason why I wanted to get rid of them. Is back in back in the day when computers first really came out, and the internet really was kind of a sensation and exploded back in the 90s. McAfee was great because, as you saw today, it had great signatures. It was one of the best antiviruses or anti-malware solutions. It, well, it was more antivirus back then. Um, one of the best antivirus solutions you could get, and it really has changed quite a bit the virus market in a sense, and not the virus market, the, the malware world, where there's so many pieces of malware compared to how it was back then by just a couple thousand samples from nowadays, where you have millions of pieces of malware being released. There is no way that signatures can keep up with that. There is no way. 
That is where you need sandboxing and heuristics as well as multiple layered behavioral detection systems. And that is right now where McAfee has appeared to fail. Bleh. Where McAfee appears to have failed. Thank you. I'll, I'll be able to talk eventually here. All right. So what we're going to do now is McAfee has not prompted me to reboot the system. So I'm not going to reboot the system. I'm going to open up uh, Cleaning Essentials here from Komodo. I'm going to do a scan with that as well. Oh, first of all, I'm sorry. I should do be fair here. And I'm going to do a quick scan with McAfee. Once McAfee is done, I'll remove anything it found, adjust the issues if possible. And then I'm going to do a scan with Cleaning Essentials as well as Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro and see what they find. Once those scans are completed, I will be back. All right, so all of these scans have completed. McAfee, of course, has not found anything. So we'll go ahead and close that out. Um, Malwarebytes, oh, why, where did that go? Shoot. Here, oh, here we go. Okay. Ooh, I thought I'd close it out for a second. Anyways, Malwarebytes found quite a bit. Um, and this is quite concerning to me. Lots of Trojans on this computer. Uh, a, lot, a couple backdoor Trojans as well. So this computer, in my mind, is very heavily infected right now. Well, it may not appear so, there are processes running right now that are malicious. And that is a huge problem in my mind because those processes now have the ability to collect data and pretty much do whatever they want or whatever the, um, uh, what is it, the um, master tell, their master tells them to do, which is whoever is controlling the Trojan, um, if I'm understanding, of course. Uh, so yeah, this computer is very, very heavily infected. And Hitman Pro didn't detect nearly as much as Malwarebytes did, but it still detected a couple uh, pieces of malware here. It's got a Trojan and then a piece of malware, both of which been have been detected by Bitdefender. These are also pieces of malware. I cannot, however, tell you what specifically they are, uh, except for Malwarebytes, which has listed them as... Uh, come on, here. Uh, this one in particular, the win login, I think it found as well. Maybe not. Yeah, here it is. Um, Win logon is a Trojan, and this was uh, Hitman Pro detected it as suspicious. So this is definitely a Trojan right there. As well as I think Malwarebytes also detected these two. So this computer is very heavily infected. Bottom line for McAfee here. <sighs> well, as I stated earlier. I have used I used McAfee quite a long for quite a long time. It was a very good antivirus back in the day. The biggest problem right now with McAfee is they are stuck in a signature world when they should be in a behavior blocking sandboxing type of world. Unfortunately, I cannot recommend McAfee, and I would have to tell people to stay away from McAfee. Well, you did see that it detected, like I said, 90% over 90% of the malware, which is really, really good actually, they need to start working on their behavior blockers. This is why um, uh, MCSoft and Komodo, those AVs, or those internet security products I should say, are beating McAfee. is because they are working more on the behavior blocking as well as putting their efforts towards the signatures too. Signatures are kind of nowadays, in my mind, it's kind of flopped. They're kind of a backup now. Uh, you really want to make sure you have sound behavior blocking because if you do that, you're pretty much going to take out any chances of your system getting infected. Um, however, with McAfee here, you've seen firsthand that without good behavior blocking, signatures are pretty much, a uh, security product in general is pretty much useless because there were at least 10 pieces of malware I ran on this computer and have now infected it. Nothing got blocked. Now McAfee does have behavior blocking. Um, I believe it's called Art Artemis, I think it's, it's called. And I have seen it work in the past, but unfortunately today I did not see it work at all. So yeah, I cannot recommend McAfee. I, I know I'm kind of probably being a little harsh on them right now, but you know what? I, I'm, I pretty much say it how it is. I don't like to sugarcoat things. McAfee, you gotta, you gotta start 
um, shaping up here. And I realized that Intel owns them too. And I really kind of had some high hopes for Intel when they took over the McAfee company. And I understand they got some things that they're going to do to revamp McAfee, including the name. So I will retest it again after they make those changes. And I really hope to see some improvement in them because, like I said, this, this used to be a really good product. It still is a decent product when it comes to signatures. But behavior blocking wise, I would not trust it to protect my computer one bit. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, let me know what you think. If you did anything that you want, want me to change anything, comment, subscribe. See you guys later.